great morning my extremely great champions hope you're all feeling massive love excitement and of course the Christmas spirit today has already started off pretty eventful we had a group of young champions that wanted to reach out and connect so that was a lot of fun I mean Thailand is my home uh, I love the people they're extremely loving they're so caring I love the culture and uh, in Bangkok itself there's so many things to do here and that's, uh, that's why we stay here today we're gonna go on a really fun adventure hang out with Lolita and Kenzo, go get a bit of a, a bar to eat and of course find out what the absolute poorest I have ever been is so that you can know 100% that there is not only light at the end of the tunnel but so much light at the end of the tunnel. And if you don't know who we are, I'm Ryan, this is my vlog, Kenzo, my son, the greatest champion in the world, Lalita, my wife, the best thing that's ever happened to me and we're here in Thailand living our dream, making videos every day. And all we want to do is have mad fun together, make you feel great, and share our story with you. So smash that subscribe button, and let's take it to the next level. Just arrived at our favorite restaurant, and uh, I want to show you what we're about to eat. We're talking a bit of miso soup, uh, mushroom soup, um, a bit of uh, orange juice, some kind of a sushi here, a bit of sashimi, I like to mix this sashimi with that sushi, some steamed salmon, cold meats, um, lasagna, steamed egg, um, mussels, garlic bread, pizza, lasagna, uh, some, some deep hake, um, a bit of ribs, a bit of chicken breast and potato, potato, potato bake. So what is happening here is we just going all afternoon like literally as soon as one meal is finished another meal arrives and what's so interesting is the way you actually order at this restaurant restaurant like whatever you want them to bring more of you just clip it on the menu and then it arrives like it's so much fun so we're gonna pump this up real good real hot and we'll see you guys after the meal <laughs> Just finished shopping with Kenzo, picked up like the basic necessities such as egg whites and nappies and at a mere one and a half years old will not understand the amount of tension he demands like swarms of girls just flock towards him they are in awe and amazed at how handsome and charismatic and confident and filled with energy he is it's just the greatest experience now we're on our way back to the condo and catch up with you champions there There was the cutest little boy and he was crying so much because he wanted to get a, a new pair of shoes but instead of his dad taking him to get the new pair of shoes his dad took him to meet the little boy that was crying so much because he had no feet at all and while that's not the premise for my story today it just goes to show that somebody else always has it much worse than you and instead of you focusing on how seemingly bad it is for you focus on the fact that no matter what it always gets better and if you'll just allow it and stop trying to force it to happen how it always ends up is much 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 better than uh, than you could ever expect or imagine and uh, he has a few stories of my own that illustrate how bad it actually was and yet the final outcome was better than I could ever imagine in 2005 I worked for a company that uh, got closed down by the financial services board and towards the, the end of the final demise of the company we were unable to work, which means we were unable to trade, which means we were unable to earn. And one month I earned 127 Rand, which is about $12. And that month I had to go and apply for an actual loan at the bank and um, uh, for, for $900. And uh, I thought, wow, I, I, it's impossible. I've hit the lowest of the low. I can't go lower than this. And um, it, actually, it actually went lower, much lower. And uh, the company closed down. And then going, I used to be a champion, like I was, I was actually wearing a suit every single day, having meetings with CEOs. I mean, the company that I worked for was a currency trading company. So I thought I was like the Mac, you know what I'm saying? I thought that I was somebody putting on the cufflinks every morning, wearing my tie, uh, you know, a bit of Hugo Boss, Giorgio Armani, a bit of Hermes. We had a driver, we had everything. And now I had to actually work in a bar called FTV. So I'd not only stopped earning, but I'd actually gone, gone back like, 
as far as status is concerned i've gone so far back so one one day i was actually uh serving drinks and working and uh, the whole day i earned only 50 rand which is about five dollars and then when i got home my ex-girlfriend was eating a big mac on the bed and i thought wow um this this is the most uh like like the lowest i can be because the amount of money that i earned the whole day is uh, less than the hamburger that she was eating and then finally when i moved here to samoa uh, to thailand i was so in love with this place but my money was finishing real fast and i did all sorts of jobs like i, I my biggest fear was to go back i refused i said there's no i'd rather die than ever leave this place and i did all sorts of weird jobs that i'm not proud of you know to 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 keep on living and keep on you know staying in, in thailand um and yet regardless of how how bad those times were like just talking about it it doesn't seem so bad but at the time it was like i couldn't believe how how my life had turned out and yet it, it's it's become absolutely monumental now and i want to tell you two more stories my my partner well my ex-partner he came here from australia and he only had um he, he, he had a dream to basically make it work here in Thailand and he came with $10,000 and for months and months and months his money was finishing, finishing, finishing and when he had about like $1,000 or $800 left he started, finally started to you know, make a connection with affiliate marketing and he started breaking even every single day and then as time went on he started making $10 every day and then as time went on he started making $50 and $70 and then he started making $1,000 that day and then he bought one backlink and he flew to Japan to see his kids. And by the time he had arrived in, in Japan, he had made $1,000 on that, just on the time that it took to, to fly there. And that was the start of him earning $5,000 a day. And now he earns $7,000 a day, has cars, has property, stays, he lives a mad, 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 mad life here in Thailand. And the last story I want to tell you is about my friend, a very good friend of mine. He was just an air conditioning salesman. He would go to companies and just try and sell them air conditioning. And he went on to become the CEO of the biggest security company in South Africa. So he went to sell them air conditioning systems. And from there, as it, as it turned out in the future, he became the CEO of the company he was trying to sell air conditionings to. So what I'm trying to say to you is there is so much more magic in this world than what the eye can see. There's so much more to us than what the eye can see. And if you'll just stop trying to force it, trying to stop, make, stop trying to make it happen the way you think it should happen and just relax and just let it go, you have no idea the abundance and magic and amazingness that tomorrow holds. So whatever you're going through, doesn't matter how hard it is, just let go. Be clear on what you want and just let it be. Stop trying to make it happen. Stop trying to force it happen the way you think it should happen. And just uh, focus on the feeling you want. Focus on, on the life you want. Focus on how you want to feel every day. Focus on the, the life you want to create. And I promise you now, with 1 million percent certainty, you will get everything you've ever dreamt of and so, so, so much more. Guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe. Join the happiness movement. Smile at strangers. Compliment everyone. Be a champion. Be different. Be phenomenal. See you tomorrow.